In a provocative speech in New York yesterday, Stephen Yates, the Idaho Republican Party chairman, suggested that faced with repeated diplomatic intimidation by China, Taiwan could declare itself the Republic of Taiwan. The new power party and World United Formosans for Independence have commented in response that amending the Referendum Act is a more realistic measure following which a referendum might provide a le legitimate basis for a name change. In a speech at the Taiwan Center in New York yesterday, Stephen Yates, former Deputy National Security Advisor to the former U.S. Vice President Dick Cheney, addressed China's recent diplomatic challenges to Taiwan and offered his encouragement to the island. That it's very, very frustrating to lose a diplomatic relationship. Uh, I personally don't think that the people of Taiwan should be too sad. First, no, the value of Taiwan is its people, and no one can take that away from them, no matter who recognizes them in the international community. Yates also suggested that if China intends to cut off Taiwan's diplomatic relationships, Taiwan should declare itself to be the Republic of Taiwan, pursuing independence and resistance to China. The most feasible way would be through the Referendum Act at first, to gauge public opinion with a referendum. I believe there are aspects of Mr. Yates' proposal that are worth referring to, but the position of the new power party has always been that we must pass the amendment to the Referendum Act as soon as possible, and we must initiate the constitutional reform Taiwan needs as soon as possible. Passing the amendment to the Referendum Act is the most urgent priority of the NPP and World United Formosans for Independence. They believe it will allow the Taiwanese people to vote for the future of Taiwan, leading to constitutional reforms, perhaps including changes to the official name of Taiwan, and eventually bringing about a normalization of the status of the nation in the world.